Welcome to the video on Q and P type of inventory systems. So basically, there are two type of systems which are followed in order to replenish inventory. The first type is known as fixed order quantity system. We also call it Q type because Q that means quantity is the basis of this type of system. The second is known as fixed time period system. This is also known as P type because time period is the primary factor for this system. Now the fixed order quantity system is the system where the quantity of order is constant and the time interval between the orders varies. Whereas in fixed time period system, the quantity of order varies while the time interval between the orders is constant. So this is the difference in these two systems. Now let us understand how the fixed order quantity system works. So as you can see in this graph, the x axis represents time while the y axis represents number of units on hand. Now for this basic fixed order quantity model, let's say the demand of the item is constant. So based on the demand being constant, Q is the quantity that has been determined to be ordered from the supplier or vendor and R is established as the reorder point. So let's say you order quantity Q. So basically your inventory will reach this level. Now as time progresses and as there is demand coming from the customers, your inventory will keep on reducing. Now when it reaches this reorder point, that means the inventory that you hold is at this point, another order of quantity Q is placed on the vendor. Now by the time the order comes into your warehouse or your inventory, you will continue to cater to the demand of the customers. So your inventory will keep on coming down and at a point again you will receive Q quantity from the vendor and your inventory will again come at this level. And so the cycle keeps on continuing. For example, you can have Q as 57 and R as 36. So as soon as the inventory on hand reaches 36, again an order of quantity 57 is placed on the vendor and the replenishment cycle starts. Now one thing to note here is that the fixed order quantity system has this Q fixed but the time period is not fixed. So depending on the demand, let's say if the demand is more in a certain period, then your reorder point can be hit much sooner. And then again, the order will be placed. So the period varies, whereas the quantity keeps being constant. Now similarly, let's understand the P type system. So as you can see on the X axis, we have time and on the Y axis, we have number of units on hand. Now the inventory is counted at fixed intervals in the P type system. So let's say P1 can be, let's say a Monday of a week. P2 can be the Monday of next week and so on. Or P1 can be first of a month 
and P2 can be first of the subsequent month and so on. So the time period is fixed. Now first we need to determine the quantity ceiling for placing the order to the vendor as shown in the picture. So this Q is the ceiling. That means at any point in time, you cannot have more than this amount of inventory for this item. So this blue line now represents the reduction in inventory as the demand continues. Now, when the first time period arrives here, basically the inventory on hand is calculated and the difference between the inventory ceiling and the on hand quantity is calculated and order is placed on the vendor. So here in this case, the quantity that is being placed is Q1. Now, once the order has been placed, there of course is going to be time, which is the lead time here, L, to get the items into your inventory. In the meantime, the inventory will keep on depleting and it may hit below your safety stock. And then again, when you receive the quantity Q1, your inventory levels will go up and then again it will keep on coming down. Now when the second period hits, again the inventory level may be more than what it was in the first period. So again the quantity is calculated, which is the ceiling minus the on hand inventory and let's say it is Q2 this time. So then the order placed is Q2 quantity on the vendor and subsequently this cycle continues for all the other periods. So as you can see in this type, your quantity keeps on varying, whereas the period is constant. So this is why it is called as P type of system. Now let us understand some other differences in these two types of systems. So let us look at point number two. Now since the system is triggered based on the quantity on hand, the records must be updated in real time to ensure that the reorder point has not been missed. So it is very important to have real time updation of these systems. Whereas in the P type of system, inventory is reviewed near the reorder period. So once the P1 time is coming, just prior to that, the inventory is counted and Based on that, the order is placed. So it is not real time, but it is prior to the reorder period. Now let's look at the next one. Now the fixed order quantity system does not require a large average inventory base because this is based on quantity. So as soon as the quantity hits the reorder point, that means you have less inventory available the order is triggered to the vendor. So again, you can get the replenishment. Whereas in P type system, if for a particular period, your demand is very high, you may end up completely depleting your inventory and stock out situation may happen. So in this case, typically the average inventory is kept as a large base. The next point is that since the average inventory is lower in Q type systems, you can use it for expensive items. Whereas P type systems is the other way around. So you can use it for the less expensive items. Point number five is that Q type of system requires more resources and time because you have to maintain the system real time and keep the records accurate. Whereas the P type system requires less resources and time. So these are two very important systems for managing inventory. A lot of times there is a hybrid model which is created by organizations to manage their inventory. Hybrid means 
a combination of both Q and P type of systems.